Good day everyone, it's Debbie with another little video tutorial. Um, <clears throat> as I go along, I've been playing around with some tools, and of course some of these I did in the earlier versions, but I thought I would go ahead and share some of these little techniques that can make some of your design um, fun and faster. Okay, I think what we'll start out is the one that's going to take a little bit more time um, to show you how to do, so I'm going to go to my grid and hit show grid. And this is just going to be temporary because I know it makes it all kind of clouded up here. So I grabbed my arch tool over here and I'm going to click here and drag it upwards, this line right here. And I don't have my snap to grid on so or it would work better. And then just drag it on over here to this corner. Okay, that's done. So now I'm going to turn the grid off so you can see it better. Now I'm going to right click on this and convert to path. This is I'm going to show you how to make a nice little swirl or one of those flourishes that you like with all the little swirlies and everything. Okay, so I have this selected and I'm going to control click so I can duplicate it and I'm going to go to my scale window and type in 75 percent and hit the enter key to apply it and again we're going to do this several times so control click apply in the next one control click apply so I have four control click apply there's five control click apply now we're going to start separating these a little bit and doing a little rotation to make that pretty little swirl and curl okay so if I go over here to my rotation tool and I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees clockwise and you can zoom in on this to make sure you're connecting them really nicely but um, and I'll do that in a little bit but for right now I'm just going to show you how to connect these and I'm going to rotate this one 90 degree clockwise no let's undo that I'm going to rotate this one 180 degrees. Bring that one back on around here. And you can rotate these however you want them and you can use the handles to rotate them but I just think this is faster. So this one here I think I'm going to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise because that looks like it will take it right up here. And it does. And this one here doesn't look like it needs any rotation. And this one here, I'm going to rotate, I think, 90 degrees. Yeah. That works real well. Okay, and like I said, then you can zoom in here real close up to see if you've got them connected. And I'm a little off on some of them, so I'll just shift them around and connect them a little better. Not too bad for doing it from so far away, but actually I should have started down here or I saw my first little boo-boo there. And now I've got them all lined up. But before I do anything else to them, I want to make some copies of some of the pieces pieced together. So to do this, I'm just going to go over here and select these first two control and click copy those set it over here then I'm going to select three an area of three take my shift key so I can unclick on that one and control click move this one down here and you can make as many of these as you want now we can do an area of four control click 
Now you can group these together or you can make it a compound path. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make it a compound path. Oh. So I'm going to select all of them and right click and select make compound path. Now if I double click on this you'll see all of these little red dots again and remember how we close those up we just click on those red dots and they turn into normal mo uh, nodes and we'll make this one a compound path and this last one a compound path okay then from here you can start making your designs you can move these any way you want to you can duplicate them again now I know if since I'm going to do an offset on these I don't want them so close to each other so I'm going to rotate this place it up here And I don't think I made this one a compound path or I messed up the compound path. Yes, it's not aligned very well, so it didn't make a compound path. I better zoom in on this one. See if they're not aligned really well. When you do this, it'll make them crooked or it won't make them a compound path. So it can get a little fussy, but this is not real important at this point. You get the idea. So I'm going to zoom back out and rotate this one. Let's see. We'll just and I'm just making this real quick to show you, give you an idea of what can be done. And I can group these, whoops, grabbed my ruler, okay, group these, so I can move it over here and show you what I'm going to do next, Get to window again, we're going to go to our offset tool and click that offset, and you can decide how thick you want these to be, remember the thinner they are, the, the, the little bit flimsier, but they also look more delicate, so <clears throat> I like mine a little thinner. Now you can save these for later and, and use the different little pieces to make other designs. So there you go. That's one of the little swirl designs. Now I can go on and be more creative. So I'm going to mirror this to the right and move that in just a little bit and weld it and we'll sh resize that and we can mirror it above and then move it down with our arrow key one group these together and weld them I'll fill it with some color so you can take a look at that we'll just fill it with red since the line color is red and there you go over here are two other little designs I made I just took some ovals and and uh, shaped them into like little leaf type things here and here's one that came out to be a little bit of a heart design so the more you play with this and move these things around you'll come up with all kinds of designs now I'm going to get to the other little neat thing in here I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy lattice if you have the designer edition, you know you have those sketch tools, and we don't really use them a lot, I don't think. Well, I haven't, but I do use it to make um, my little lattice work. So if I select Diamond Hatch, and then I go down here to the Advanced Options, I'm going to scroll down here, and you see the spacing. I increase that spacing, and you can increase it to whatever size you feel comfortable with. 
that looks pretty good to me. You can also change the angle and all sorts of things here. But for this project, this is all I want to change. And now I'm going to go up here to my line size. And I'm going to increase the thickness. There we go. Now I'm going to show you two things. If I draw a rectangle, another rectangle, because I'm going to try to frame this a little bit. And I'm going to offset this rectangle, change that to corners over here, and increase it. That's good enough. Okay, and then you know again, to make this where it's weldable, we're going to go ahead and select both rectangles. I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on the other one, right click, make compound path. And if I go to my cut settings right now, and in the standard cut settings, and I select this, see how you see the lines that will just slish slash through there? You can do this both ways, and you can select cut edge. And you'll see it will leave you your lattice work. But I prefer, if especially if it's something I want to keep, I'm going to go back one more step. So we'll go back to our regular view. I'm going to remove my frame out of the way and then just hop up here and select trace area there we go um, turn off that high pass filter and I'm just going to select trace so I'm going to move this I can actually delete this now move my frame back over this way I'm kind of just I'm just eyeballing it just again to see where I want it and I'm gonna select all of the elements here go back down to that weld button and we'll fill it with some color again just red and there you go a nice piece of lattice work now to make one of those little swirly things another way we can use our our um, sketch tools I'm just gonna Hold my shift key down and draw a straight line. Going back to that sketch tool. And I'm going to select here on the top the edge scribble. And again we go down to our advanced options and you'll see loop separation. And loop size which that's a little too large. So say I do this. Now again, I'm going to go back over here to, I have to select it though because it's only that straight line. It made this little wave and so we have to make sure we go back, go across it to select it. Going back to my line thickness, I'm going to thicken it up. and we're going to go back to our cut settings and again we're going to select cut edge you have to select your file now cut edge back to the window and there you go there's your little curly cue you can use and these are just with the sketch tools and it's really fast now remember there's other ones in here you can play around with I have used the crosshatch as well um, and made just a little square design and everything. If you want to, I can do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and delete this out. Remember, you make your rectangle first or your square or whatever shape you want. And we're going to go to the crosshatch. And again, down here, spacing. And, and I'm just going to show you real quick about changing angles. See, you can change your angles. Okay, but I'm not going to do that for this one. I'm going to put it back to where it was at. Now I have to go back over here to my line thickness. That was a little too thick. 
and we're just going to hop over here real quick to show you those cut settings again. And there you go. Well, I hope this little video has shown you some new things that you can try with your um, Studio Designer Edition and that you have lots of fun doing it. And the more you play with this, this studio software, the more you're going to learn and love it. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you on my um, forum, Paper Pulse or on the Silhouette Plus form. I thank you for watching. Oh, and I did want to um, add that there's been a couple of requests for me to show some of the finished projects and I have posted them on my blog. So if you want to take a look at one of the swirl designs cut out, some of the um, the scanned images of stamps that I did, they're all over at my blog. Okay, for, <laughs> bye for now. Thanks again for watching.